Happy Monday, Glads. I'm Hannah Hall. And I'm Isaac Flea, and this is your KWHS News. Juniors and seniors, we still have two college visits scheduled for this month. Pick up your pass in the Counseling Center to attend. Here's the deets. This Wednesday, after the PSAT, the reps from Barbizon Southwest School will be here at lunch in the Lower Commons. And then, next week, on the 17th, the reps from Western Colorado University close out our scheduled April visits. Remember, you can check out all the important college information in person at the Counseling Center or check out their website online. Glads, it's testing week, and we have a a little announcement for you from our admin team. Yo, 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 class, it's state exam week and we want you to get hyped for these tests, yo. Let's show these peaks up in the cap what we can do down here in the field. TBH, we got mad skills and I'm jacked to get this done. Make sure you grub before you get to school and lay your head and crash hard the night before so you can rule and slay all these tests. Yeet, we know you're going to be extra, extra prepared when you take these exams. So make us be proud. Oh God! Glads, we want to give you two claps and a whoosh before your tests. Two claps, whoosh! Hashtag, go Glads! Hi Glads, let's slay away! Bye Felicia! Juniors, the SAT is tomorrow during periods 1 through 4. Good luck! Sophomores, we take the PSAT 10 on Wednesday, April 10th during periods 1 through 4. And freshmen, the PSAT 9 is happening on April 11th during periods 1 through 4. Be sure to check the lists posted in the hallways to find out where you are seated. All exams will be in Bowers Gym unless you've been instructed otherwise. Glads, remember to get a good night's rest this week and eat something the morning of your test. And leave your cell phones in your locker or backpacks and make sure they are turned off. Juniors and seniors, celebrate a trip around the world at prom on April 20th. That's the theme for this year, and the dance will be at the Doubletree World Arena from 6 p.m. to midnight. Outside guest rooms are due this Friday, and you can still buy tickets in the business office for $50, but only until April 16th. Remember, this is not an event where you can buy tickets at the door, and yes, your ticket price does include dinner. When we return, we'll have some information on the High School Artist Showcase, but first, we're throwing it to the sports desk for our Gladiator Sports Update with Ethan Simon. Sports time! Good Monday morning, Glads. This is your Gladiator Sports Update, and I'm Ethan Simon. Juniors and seniors, Powder Puff teams are hard at practice getting those football skills down. On April 17th, Student Cabinet will be hosting a tailgate at 4 p.m., and the game will follow at 5 p.m. See Ms. Melton for the details. In Forensics News, team members, your end-of-the-year banquet will be this Thursday, April 11th at 6 p.m. See Ms. Owen or Mr. Elhofer for more details. Cheerleading tryouts start today and run through Friday, April 12th from 5 5 30 to 7 p.m. in this small gym. Get your applications in the main office and see Miss Miles in the athletic director's office for details. The boys swim and dive team was at the Indian Invite over the weekend and here are their results. The boys will be back in the pool on Wednesday at home against Pueblo Centennial. If you haven't made it to a swim meet, you should go and cheer on the boys and check it off your bucket list. In baseball news, our boys traveled to Golden on Saturday and the demons were too demonic for our gladiators. Catch the fellas on Big Blue this Tuesday against the Purple School at 4 p.m. The boys could really use some support for this game, so come out and cheer them on. In soccer news, our Lady Glads fought to the last bell, but the Tigers were too tough and the ladies lost. The ladies also played the Falcon Falcons on Saturday, but those birds got the best of our ladies. On Tuesday, our ladies are back on the field to take on the Woodland Park Panthers. The ladies could also use some fans, so come out and rally them to a victory. Stay tuned this Friday for Damon's Dose of Health when we'll hear about how tech time impacts us. In track and field news, our Gladiator teams were at the John Tate Challenge Cup in Pueblo at Dutch Clark Stadium. Here's a short list of their results. Way to go, Glads. The team is headed to the Mitchell Invite this weekend, and we know they will continue to improve their times and placements. And finally, attention all football players and students interested in playing football next year. There is a new coach in town, and he wants to meet you and share his vision. Join Coach Zimmerman for a pizza lunch and presentation on April 12th in Bowers Gym. You should really check this out. And plus, 
pizza. That's it for your Gladiator Sports Update. We'll be back on Wednesday with scores and results. I'm Ethan Simon. Now back to the news desk with Hannah and Isaac. Thanks for that update, Ethan. Glads, if you dropped the ball in your classes, registration for summer credit recovery classes has begun, and the deadline to sign up is May 30th. The summer session starts on June 3rd and goes until July 28th, with the orientation on June 3rd in the WHS Computer Lab. Check the district website to register or see your counselor. And now, it's time to hear what we're having for lunch with Miss Betsy and her crew of helpers. Happy Monday, everybody. Today we're having pork rolls with mashed potatoes and gravy, and tomorrow we're having mac and cheese with ham. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye-bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Glads, remember to add money to your lunch account in person or online so you can stay off conditions. Glads, remember to check Infinite Campus so you can see if you are on conditions and get those taken care of as soon as possible. And remember everyone, especially seniors, if you wait until the last minute to clear your conditions, the line will be really long and you cannot leave campus until all of your conditions are taken care of. Glads, we have two art shows to tell you about. The first is our district art show on April 20th at French Elementary from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. It's free and open to the public. If you just wanted to check out the work our peers have created, check out the high school showcase going on from April 23rd through May 3rd at the UMB Bank at 502 Security Boulevard. The opening reception is May 1st from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. This is also a free event. Our PLTW engineering students will be showcasing their senior projects and activities on April 25th in the WHS Auditorium. Cabaret Night is also scheduled for the 25th in the WHS Cafeteria. The show starts at 6 p.m. and the cost is three dollars for students and five dollars for adults. Refreshments will be available for a small cost, so bring some extra cash and enjoy the show. The district-wide Day Without Hate will be celebrated on April 25th. To show our support for this year's theme, Do What Is Right, Not What Is Easy, we are being asked to sport our favorite white gear to show our support for the cause. This is a class competition, so get your white on for the Charlie Cut point. Stay tuned for information on wristbands and then check out the posters around our school celebrating this event. Ladies, the dress sale at the Trinity Missionary Baptist Church is this Saturday. Dresses will be available for $20 cash donation at the church on 617 East Fountain Boulevard from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Remember, to fill out a reverse power card to celebrate our amazing teachers in the attendance office, library, or counseling center. And we'll take it from there. Thanks for tuning in today. Have a great Monday. I'm Hannah Hall. And I'm Isaac Fleet. And this was your k HS News. Have a great week.